How you doing today, everyone? This is Derek Kazmarek with the Fluke Corporation, and today I'm with Transcat to tell you how to use the II900. So we're gonna power this thing up, and we're gonna walk you through it step by step to get you up and running as quickly as possible. So now from the beginning, we will want to use the bottom left green button here, the power button to power it up. It does take a good 10 to 15 seconds for it to power up, but you'll see the screen illuminate and then eventually it will go into this main screen here. There are a lot of options on this main screen here, but it is relatively simple to use. As stated, the bottom left is the power button. The big green button right here on the right hand side you can use your thumb on that if need be, but that is gonna take any images or start any video recording as we go along. So, other features we have, it's a touchscreen operation. We can choose what we are looking to record from image, which is gonna be a straight JPEG file associated with the uh, leak that we detect. We can record up to a five minute video now on the latest firmware updates. This will allow you to set this tool up and screen a process to make sure everything is firing correctly on all cylinders, no pun intended. And then the last mode we have here is leak quantification. Leak quantification allows you to quantify the cost of a leak and use our report software found on our website to calculate and give cost estimates for savings. Moving forward, we have the memory, which will help us reference any of our old images. We have our acoustic profiles here, which if you wanna get up and set up certain profiles for certain rooms, you can do that. We also have the different color palettes. We can set markers, which will allow us to turn off on a center decimal point if we want to. And then we do have our just basic settings that we can get into, including date and time. On the right-hand side here, this is going to be our slider. This is going to allow us to pinpoint a potential leak. As you can see here, as I slide this up and down, we notice the true leak right there, and then the reflection keeps popping up right there. That is the echo. And actually that is the echo of my voice as I speak. So I can actually filter myself out and focus on just the leak. We can do this by simply just dragging it with a finger we can widen the band so we can catch more noise. We can narrow the band so we can catch just specific noises. This allows us to pinpoint exactly where we need to be. And from my experience and from my references, I usually start usually between 20 and 35 kilohertz. I usually say about a thumbs width. And then from there, I can usually pinpoint more, most air leaks, no problem. And then as I get closer and closer to what I'm looking for, I narrow that band up. Also what we have here is along the bottom side, we have our battery indicator, our date and time, but then we can actually set up our own folders. We can create a folder, name it, whatever we want. Hit enter, and now any image that I save or leak queue that I save will save directly to that folder. And then I can go back, I can switch it, so I can do this room by room, and it helps me organize it when I do output my images. If you notice up here at the top hand side, this is our leak quantification scale. This would give me an estimate. To take an image, like I said, all I do, hold this button down. And now I have the image. From here, I can actually add text to notes. That will save in there. I can add reference photos up to four images. And you see that is a live image right there. So I can take a picture of the valve or the line or the nameplate that I'm working on there. I can also add tags. So I can do the type of leak, quick connect, threaded, hose, open, or other. I can do the type of gas that I'm looking at since we can look for gas leaks also, also vacuum leaks. And then I can add the pressure on the line. This allows me to make it a quick reference for when I do output it in the software so I don't have to go back and try to remember what I was doing. To access these, sorry, when we're done with all the notes and everything, we actually just have to hit save. 
now that image is saved in our memory. So touch screen again, I hit memory, and now here's that reference image I have. And actually I can go back and add more tags, notes, or photo notes if I choose. On the right hand side you can see we show what band we were in, we showed exactly where we were on the leak, and then again we have our leak quantification up there. So that is the basic operation of the Fluke II-900. One other thing to note when you do go to use this, make sure you remove your dust cover from the front, otherwise you will be covering up your sensors on, on this. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to your local Fluke engineer or your local TransCat contact, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Have a great day.